Mother's Day. <sighs> what a day. This video is how to have a plan for Mother's Day. For those of us in the Childless Not By Choice community, this day is a particularly difficult day. It can really put in our face everything that we don't have that we thought we wanted. The lead up to Mother's Day isn't as great either with all of the media and advertising that goes around this day. If you're feeling triggered, if this is particularly difficult for you, you're not alone. And this video is how to have a plan to manage this day. Number one, write it out. Write your plan out so then on this day, you're not having to think about what you're going to do. You're just executing a plan that you have previously put in place. Essentially, you're just following directions for yourself. So be specific. When are you going to wake up? What are you going to eat? Where are you going to eat it? What are you going to wear? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to be with? Write all of those things down. Let's say you don't want to be around anybody. That's okay too. But we do need to have a plan of what you're going to do instead. Are you going to watch your favorite movie? Are you going to read your favorite book? Binge watch your favorite TV show? If so, which ones? If you need to purchase it and go out and get it, go get it. Uh, I'm really into Colleen Hoover books right now. Uh, I'm also well aware I am very late to this party. Um, but that's what I've been doing in the lead up to this day, uh, is really just immersing myself in some books. They're a great distraction. They don't take a lot of effort to read, but they take enough to where I can dive in. And, they're, and they, they have good hooks in them. Um, so uh, I don't get bored doing that. Just one uh, point that I want to make with the Colleen Hoover books uh, is I know I haven't read very many of them. Uh, I read one, though, that was about um, infertility in a lot of ways um, called Ugly Love. So just have awareness around that uh, if you choose to go look for those books. Again, write down who are you going to talk to. If you're not going to see them, are you going to text them? Are you going to get on the phone with them? If you are going to see them, where are you going to see them? Do you want to avoid certain restaurants that you know are going to be filled with a lot of brunch or a lot of Mother's Day stuff? Do you want to avoid uh, certain parts of town because you're going to see a lot of families down there, right? Think about those things as you create your plan for you. The next one is be specific with these details, right? And the more intense your grief is feeling, I would suggest the more specific you get with your details because you're more likely to kind of get lost in the day. The more you have written out, the more you can just follow the plan and execute. I'm not telling you not to grieve. But what I am telling you is you might want to have specific time set aside to do that. Or you want to make sure you're talking with your therapist or your coach about that prior to the day and after the day. And maybe the day of Mother's Day, you're really thinking about, I'm going to stay glued together and this is how I'm going to do that. The next thing is say no if you need to. Uh, I will put a video up top um, about how to say no to invitations that you can watch if you need to. But again, if you get invited to something, you can say no. It's okay. Uh, you're not not being supportive. You're not showing that you're selfish. You're not uh, putting your needs above the needs of everybody else. But you are doing what feels right to you. And on days of a particularly difficult time, you get to put your needs ahead of everybody else. Again, when you're childless, not by choice, and there's a holiday called Mother's Day, it's okay if you put yourself first and you do what you have to do in order to keep yourself healthy on that day. So if you get invited to something, say no. Just say no, right? Um, the next one is be kind to yourself. Again, this is a difficult one, but if you want to say no, you're not a jerk, right? You get to decide if you want to pretend this day doesn't exist. You get to decide if you want to just completely fill your day with distraction or if you would like to 
um, engage in some traditions that you typically engage in, whether that's some grief traditions and or if it's traditions for your mom, if your mom is still alive. You get to choose this and no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. So the last thing I want to remind you of is remember there are communities out there that you can immerse yourself in and that you can expose yourself to so you're not alone on Mother's Day. Um, there is the hashtag childless not by choice, hashtag childless by circumstance communities on Instagram. There's Gateway Women. Um, there's Sondra Sisterhood, which is our community. And then there's also lots of videos on YouTube that can maybe help you feel like uh, you're not alone, where you can feel like you're supported, validated, um, seen, heard, understood, and where you have encouragement on this day. Let me know what works for you uh, for your Mother's Day and um, put those in the comments so you can encourage other people. Again, the most important thing is have a plan and write it out and be specific. Subscribe for more videos on tips, tricks, resources, encouragement, and validation for the single and childless not by choice person.